Hi, everybody. It's Mama D. Oops. Make sure his volume's up. There we go. So, I went back to the old camera version. I didn't like that zooming in on my face. It was making me feel uncomfortable. Message still got out there. So, it's all good. But anyways, yeah. I'm not so sure. I thought maybe it would be cool for the cards. But it was interrupting me. So I have the vice versa to roll out. I'm just pre shuffling it up. Thank you to my ancestors and God for protecting me. Nothing formed in spirit or in physical shall harm me. I wish you well. <laughs> You're gonna need it. My ancestors don't play. Oh, warriors. So, yeah. See the ten of cups in here as I'm shuffling. So, alrighty. I'm going to set this as a premiere so I can chat with everybody. So we're going to, we're going to use the Atlantis Oracle Dex this morning with the Vice Versa True and close with the Crystal Spirits. So. I did receive a message that someone had purchased a deck for me and it's on its way, so thank you. The Spirit Oracle. So that's a new one that we're going to be adding. So thank you. Phoenix, rising from the ashes. Firepower, I heard. I like fire energy. <laughs> no bull. No bullshit. I have some bull, too. Actually, I'm pretty Taurus. <laughs> I like being a Taurus. Coffee and cards, so just get a sip of coffee. It's a, a great energy today. Gave my ancestors some fresh coffee this morning. I do every morning. And I put and I put them out a cigarette and a lighter. No, I don't smoke. My son does sometimes. So I took a cigarette out of his pack and left it down here for the ancestors. You're welcome. Just show them that I honor them. most needed for the collective. What is the channel message today? Thank you, Spirit. I don't know. But I was told to pick these cards up and reshuffle. So that's what I'm going to do. No, they weren't bad. But I'm just going to follow what I was told. 
I do believe those just slipped. That's the card. Okay. See how easily it come out. Okay. Truth, justice coming in. Justice, truth will always prevail in the end. It's the sword of truth. Okay, now I get it. Someone is practicing, stand, not practicing. They're standing in their truth. Okay. There's been some truth come out. Some enlightenment has come out. There's been justice done by the divine. Lent and the ancestors are reminding you to continue. Number 11, or 9 and 2 is 11. Continue to show conscience. Acts of kindness. Continue to just do small acts of kindness because your ancestors are taking notice. It's like I see someone with a big a book open like the Santa Claus nice and naughty list and someone is getting brownie points like oh I'm so proud look at that check okay I see you you're standing in your truth you're standing in your way you're not allowing the things that have affected you to affect you before yeah standing in your truth someone has a way has been spiritually awakened. They're, they're standing in their truth, in their path. And the ancestors are saying that justice is coming in for you. And Zena, you sneeze, baby girl. Angels must be around. Zena, the lawyer princess, is over here sneezing. Did you get an angel tickle? Remember, the truth will always prevail in the end. Okay. Truth will always prevail in the end, collective. Vice versa, Tarot, what would you like to add to this truth, justice, conscious acts of kindness that we're doing? Ministering with light when people don't deserve it. But we're not practicing light what they deserve. We're practicing being kind because it's the right thing to do not retaliating, you know, with the same energy, just kind of taking a step back and being like, okay, that's cool, you know, the truth will come out, I don't have to make a scene, I know the truth, work, love, life, however, and just sitting back and being like, yeah, the divine's got this, true justice is going to come in for me, I'm not going to react the ways I used to, yeah. Staying balanced, walking away from things, eight of cups. But walking towards balance, the sun. Some cards, please. Thank you. Well, cards. Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah. Let me make sure something I should want to check this card. I like the energy off of it. It's a big crab, Cancerian energy. You know? Oh, that's there's different languages, so I have to Yep. Oof. Uncertainty between the fear of oblivion and yearning for transformation. Resistance to inner change that may become mental. A lack of of point of reference. 
with the seven of pentacles i'm only reading from the book because i was drawn to number one yeah there's an uncertainty there's a fear of what someone's put their time effort and energy into if it's you know gonna give back just as much if you do the work let me tell you the universe your ancestors and your gods are telling you that they will honor it what's hidden is now yeah absolutely you focus your intentions the moon energy and you do right things then the sun comes up to illuminate it you know what's hidden in the dark what's done in the dark will always come to light that's standing in your truth okay Ten of Swords energy. Someone feels stabbed in the back. But the truth will come out. This sounds like somebody is... Oof. We're not doing all that. Oh, thank you. <sighs> My ancestors kind of shuffled the deck up. I forgot this again. It's cool. Somebody's getting called out. I'm just going to say it. Somebody's been stabbed in the back. Someone knows the truth. They're not saying anything. They're just going to let it come out on their own. You're standing with your truth. Alright, somebody done did something. Y'all are practicing integrity is what my ancestors just said. You're having integrity. And now, the divine is coming in with true justice. And fixing to knock somebody straight up off their rocker. <laughs> I mean, I'm just telling you the towers coming for them but you're unaffected why because you stood in your truth you didn't react the way that you know with negative energy okay like yeah turned your back and is looking for a solution the light of a situation i don't mean to laugh <laughs> please forgive me but when the divine comes in and brings the tower down, oh, I just, yeah, I just got, like, chill bumps. Oof. Oh, yeah, you'll be able to see the effects of it all right. Like I said, don't think that true justice and someone standing up for themselves and, you know, just being truthful. The divine's not going to step in. Yeah. And I'm not laughing, it's just, the thing is, people go around acting a certain way and thinking like karma and like things are not going to come back around to them. Man, they're living in their ego and they're going to have a rude awakening. Wonder where that comes from? Rude awakening? It's called ego death. Ego death. Ten of swords. Somebody's about to go through some ego death because they've been doing some wrong shit. And the divine is like, uh-uh. Justice. Step in. Tap him on the shoulder, Gabriel. Ooh, I just heard give them a taste of their own medicine. Okay, this is a serious read, and sometimes I use humor, but justice is being served by the divine for all the wrongs. And fixing to be catapulted to the next level. Remember, as Jessica, you know, does say often, I'm going to refer to her, she's explaining, you know, to her collective, I'm part of her collective angel gang gang, like, however much wrong somebody was done, just imagine how much right the divine is going to balance those skills, okay? That's the catapult. Because I'm going to tell you, I've been done really dirty in my life because I have a good heart. But I've also done wrong. I have been working on clearing, like, past life karma, this life karma. And I feel pretty confident about, you know, the work on effort and energy. You know, being consciously aware of things. And more importantly not continuing to make the same mistakes and just be consciously aware you know such as for years and years and years I've already are I've always greeted people with the 
phrase good morning. Well, just always also call it my our collective's you know energy that it's not a good day for morning. So I've started saying happy new day. And you'll still catch me because I'm reprogramming myself. Instead of saying GM, I'm saying happy new day. Because I'm reprogramming myself. Kind of went off on left field on a tangent there. But it's what I'm channeling. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't fit, don't make it fit. But there's also confirmation for someone here that they've been doing the work and been done really dirty and the divine is about to step in and let Saturn show them exactly what it's about when you do wrong to people. And it's not funny. I actually, you know, wish people well because righting your wrongs ain't always the easiest thing in the world to do, y'all. So... Let's consciously continue to be kind and understanding. I try to not have a bitter or resentful spirit towards actions. Didn't do me any good. It just kept me angry all the time. Why you gotta be angry all the time? I don't wanna be angry all the time. I wanna live, laugh, and love. Right? Crystal spirits. Thank you. What is your message today, Crystal Spirit? Oh, no, 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 no. My cards today, it's the energy. You notice my cards normally don't do that. It's this energy. Oof. Yep, it's that moon energy. The moon stone's coming out. That's the second time hidden truths coming to light. Downloads. Downloads. See? Straight downloads. Awakening. There's that. <laughs> Basically, it's God striking them. Here you go. Have some illumination. You want to mess with my people? Let me show you exactly what I made up. Let me suck it to you one more time. You know, it's funny, but it's not funny. I mean, like, if you're on this side of the fence, knowing things that have been done and having faith, like, you might chuckle about it. Be like, you know, tell, no, I didn't, I told you so. Like, I don't know what to tell you. You're going around acting ugly. You don't like ugly. Don't like an ugly soul, not like ugly. At all. Victim a sack it to him. I don't want no punch. Mm. Yeah. Big spike. I have never seen this one. I'm very interested. It's a newbie to me. I like the colors of it. Wow. Big spike. I'm not. So, internal. <laughs> I'm very interested in this stone. Alrighty. The essential meaning. I love this. Drive, courage, full speed ahead, a spirited action. Ooh, I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. Jim Carrey. I love Jim Carrey. Start doing impersonations. I gotta quit now. There's a time to hesitate and a time to move forward with conviction, courage, and total determination. And that time is now. Big Big Spirit has arrived to take to tell you to take a deep breath and full speed ahead with forceful action on behalf of your own healing. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. Stepping away and letting Divine Justice step up on in the house. Be fierce as you push through obstacles with laser focus for nothing will 
stand in your way. You're meant to feel driven at this moment to break free of the change binding you to unhealthy patterns. Advocate for yourself unapologetically and be unshakable in your belief that you are worthy of achieving your goal. The constant universe, the force that propels you, is always there for you as your ally. That means they go into battle. You don't have allies if you just sitting around, you know, whoop de whooping. You got allies when you go to what? Motherfucking war. Battle. Now is a time for fearless action. Sail on. S A I L. Sail on. R S E L L. Work, love, life, however so. This is a rare red form of the real. Due to its rarity, only small specimens generally can be found. However, even a little piece packs a big punch. That's me, y'all. That's me. I'm a little bitty bull, but I pack a big punch. <laughs> you want to clear a room? Bring in a mad ass Taurus, right? You fucking clear it in 2.5 seconds flat. No problem. <laughs> Hunzi, no problem, huh? Say, sorry, I have no problem. I know, huh? Yeah, we gonna, mm, I love you too, baby. You get excited. Okay. Thank you for my lovings. Are you gonna go to war with me? <laughs> yeah? Are you ready to go for it too? Oh, you got my back. Zena the warrior princess. She wants a hug. Pardon me while my dog, <laughs> Z. I mean, look, are you cold? Is that what it is? Okay, you want to get up here under the blankets? Okay, I'm going to clear. Hold on, let me clear her a spot. My dogs are like my children. Zena Bobina, come on. Here. You're welcome, baby. My little red. Now, she looked like a little red dragon to me. I don't know. She's got the heart of a dragon, I'll tell you that much. But she's just as sweet as sweet can be, huh, baby? Look at you. Thank you, Zena. Miss your flowers. Quit not quit being. Look at this. Releasing. New might. 38. Number 11. Look at there. 38 breaks down into 11. There's them 11s. Sit pretty. You pretty girl. You pretty girl. And good girl. Yeah, her good girl. Achieving self mastery, inner power, and recovering your sense of self. And I say, yeah, get it. Huh? Say, yeah, get it. Get it. Evidence of progress can be can seen. Again, evidence of progress can seem elusive at times, but when Numanite spirit, Numanite, pardon, don't mean to be disrespectful, spirit appears, it is a sign that you might be underestimating how far you have come. Oh, our minds are conditioned to pay attention to the negative and overlook all that is good in our life, including the results of your efforts over time. Look at ancestors coming in to give us a hug. Oh, you may not have received a big blue ribbon or a parade in your honor, but the conscience universe, that's that energy, they are acknowledging and celebrating all your hard work at mastering your fears. Make peace with the part of yourself that tells you whatever you do, it will not be enough. You are developing mastery and there will be times when you feel as if your progress is slow and inadequate, but you're called now to acknowledge you have indeed persevered. 
learn much, and not given up. Doing so will help you stray the, or stay the course rather than veering off track. Be gentle with yourself as you master the challenges you have always seemed to overcome. Somehow, you are getting better at this thing called life, at building healthy relationships and prosperity. And at knowing and loving yourself as much as the conscious universe does. Give yourself credit. Keep practicing. We are all learning. And the Night Spirit is here to tell you that the conscious universe is watching and is so very proud of you. All right. We're going to end this off with the meditation, okay? Ugh. I got me a little teared up. I ain't even gonna lie about it. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Numanite feels sacred, carrying the vibration of the wise elders and teachers. When we are ready, this stone will assist us in diving down into the very depths of self in order to earn earth and reclaim the lost or the buried parts of us. It encourages us to embrace and integrate the neglected pieces of who we are. Step into your power and once again know thyself as the perfect being we have always been. Beautiful. Look, I got a black shirt on today. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Boy, oh, look at him. <laughs> Police was going by as I did that. He's probably laughing. They see me out here every day. All day, every day. What a great message. I can definitely identify. Definitely, definitely identify. This is an amazing deck. All of my decks are here lately this one has really been speaking to the collective shall I say you know I don't want to put one over the other but I just had a feeling about this deck maybe it's because I love crystals I got them everywhere it's my special thing but man the energy that was such a powerful message Whew. thank you thank you ancestors Thank you for bringing this message of love and peace and hope and restoration and fire back into our souls. Hearts of fire, right? Namaste, everybody. Love and light. And have a great, wonderful, blessed day, okay? Dina Bobina. Me and Zena says bye bye today. Actually, I don't ever say bye. I'll catch you later. <laughs>